Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. This is another day, another day, another time. Look at this. I know you are salivating, right? Don't worry. Let me take you throughout all the journey as I cook this beautiful, yummy kienyeji, or we call it local chicken. And this is how I'll do it. I just want you to watch it till the end of the video and please give it a thumbs up, like, and comment. Please, please comment. And not that I'm a genius in cutting chicken, but I try where I can and I always give it my best. So long as at the end of the day it's cut right. So I don't have all those, um, I'm not an expert in catching chicken, but I always make sure I do it myself. So that I can get better and better and better every day. So don't laugh uh, the way I'm cutting my chicken, but I always mm. deliver. Yeah, I always deliver. So we'll start with my cutting of chicken. And this is what I do. My guys, I know I've been taking so long to post a video, but you'll forgive me. We never get time sometimes to just post a video every day because I've not been monetized and still I have some hustles to make to make ends meet and uh, to look for money. So until they, mon they monetize me, here is just one video after the other. But don't get bored, my people. So I'm just trying to cut out my chicken uh, piece by piece until I will be done. Yeah, so these are local chicken. So it's not that... Um, it's not that easy to cut. Sometimes it's a bit harder than the broiler, but yeah, we have to do what we can. We do what we do just to make sure we cut it the best way possible. Yeah, it's not that easy, by the way. I know broilers are a bit easier to cut. They are very soft. And the local chickens have had a bit harder bones than the broilers. So you just have to struggle and do what you need to do so i'm still cutting out my chicken piece by piece piece by piece and there i am with my daughter there she's just looking at me and i'm trying to separate the both parts and it's not easy that's what i'm saying it's not easy for me i'd struggle but at the end of the day i always make sure i deliver sorry so Come with me as we cut the chicken, cook and everything till the last, the last, the last part. Mark me, mark my words, it would be very sweet. So I'm, I've succeeded by the way, separating the two pieces so that I can remove the intestines, the liver, gizzard and everything that is need to be removed. And then at least it'll be easier for me to cut the pieces one by one. When you separate that like this, it will be easier to cut it and also remove the fatty, fatty parts because it was very, very fatty. I'm done. And now this is my chicken. I'm going to boil it. You have to boil. This one is, I've told you, it is not as soft as broiler. So you need to boil it a bit harder. Not that much, but at least you need to boil it. So I'll use my pressure cooker to save time. Uh, just like two or three minutes and I'll be done. And this is my chicken. I'm done with it. So I just want to fry it. I want it to boil until the water is dry. Until it has dried. So this is just the chicken and it's, it's what do I call it? Uh, the oils, the fatty, fatty meat have melted. So the chicken is just swimming in its own fat. And I'm going to to stir it over and over and over and until the chicken is well fried in fact it's frying itself with its own own fats its own fats so I'll just saute and saute and yeah just like that until it's brown in color you can see it was so 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 healthy very healthy i didn't add any any oil any cooking oil the, the oil which is there is the oil, it's its own. It is just cooked with its own fat until it's brown. And then, just the simplest way possible, not that nini. So I just had the tomatoes, garlic, ginger. That's it. Garlic, ginger, tomatoes, coriander. And that is, that's it, that's it. Just the simplest way possible. 
okay just watch me and uh, you'll enjoy you'll enjoy so that's me you just turn it it over and over and over until the until the tomatoes are well cooked until they melt they well cooked and until they absorb mix thoroughly with the chicken and don't disappoint you see it is still after in fact i've just felt that the oil the, the chicken fat was so much i reduced actually i reduced the fats i just put something in the some in the container and it was still it was still fat it was still it was still so soaked with its own fats until I made sure I reduced a little in a container because it was too much. It was too much. I didn't want to eat all of that. It will not be that good. So I had to reduce a bit after it had cooked itself to brown. And that's when I put my tomatoes, onions and everything so that it will be cooked well, 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 well. And as you can see, my chicken is turning out to be so good, so sweet, so sweet. It'd be a very, and I didn't want to, it was just the wet fry. The wet fry thing, those who understand wet fry, no soup, no nothing. Just tomatoes, coriander, onions, and that's it. Yeah, and some cubes. And that's it. It was just the easiest traditional way. So that's my coriander. My chicken, I think, is well cooked. It is almost done. So I'm adding the coriander to just finish the cooking. And mark my words, it was so, so, it came out so nice. Just the way I wanted it to be. That's how it came out. So I'll mix my chicken again with the coriander. I just mix it and over and over over again and pili pili ho ho i don't know why to call it uh forgotten but that's how it is as you can see my chicken is turning out well so i just let it to cook for a few minutes and then continue to stew to stir it over there's no soup as you can see it is just dry very dry so all the onions the flavors and everything they are on the meat on the meat that's the best way to cook your chicken just look at it and tell me. I don't know how you guys cook yours. Me, I just love it this simple end. My words, it's very, it always comes out very nice. No soup, no nothing. Just wet fry and that's it. Yeah. So cooking this with garlic and maybe some greens, it comes out very nice. So I don't know how you guys cook yours. Just go to the comments below and tell me how you cook your chicken and yeah everyone has a way of cooking the chicken that is mine and this is the last the last result of my chicken look at my chicken look at my chicken surely i'm not bragging but this chicken was mwah. it was sweet it was flavorful all the flavors it was tasty everything the ginger the turmeric the everything was felt on the chicken it was so sweet i enjoyed every bit every single bit of it i enjoyed look at my chicken just look at it look at it look everything every tomato coriander everything is on the chicken and there's some beef you tell me it was so sweet it was so flavorful it was tasty and i enjoyed my chicken with some ugali and some fried cabbages at the side and that is my son there we are having fun yeah we are having fun by the way it was so fun i enjoyed my chicken so just go to the comments below and tell me how to prepare your chicken and next time we'll prepare maybe pilau or something else and Thank you for watching. Thank you, my subscriber, for watching. Those who have watched, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, and share. And see you on the next video. Yeah, that's me and my son. We're just having fun. He's just a young kid. Just having fun. And he's enjoying this chicken. Yeah, and it was so nice. It was so nice. Thank you.